All right, what we're gonna do is look at a way to add tabs, navigation tabs to the side of your Google Slide presentation uh, so that kids or parents can quickly navigate to different uh, sections of your presentation, much like if you had a recipe book and you wanted to navigate to the breads, you could pull that tab and then get there very quickly. All right, so the first thing, uh, this presentation is like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, and then there's an overview as the first slide. I'm gonna go up to the shape tool and I'm gonna pick this, you can pick any one of these here, but I tend to use this round same side corner rectangle shape uh, and just draw that shape. And let's call that overview. Uh, feel free to uh, change the font or whatever you wanna do here. The idea is that whatever you do, you wanna do it right the first time so that you don't have to change it on all of them when you go and copy and paste this. Um, now, I'm going to line that up at the top here, and I'm just going to click on this shape, and I'm going to press Control-D and duplicate it, and I'm just going to use my arrow keys to kind of put this in place, and I'm going to call this one Monday. And now we're kind of in this rinse and repeat where let's duplicate these as well, Control-D. And you can see I'm running into an issue here because these are too big. That's okay. This is Tuesday. This is Wednesday. The easy way to adjust these is just to select them all and then just pull up from the bottom. All right, and maybe this overview one's gonna be a little bit bigger. So um, Wednesday, I need two more. Let's duplicate those and drag them down. All right, and now I'm gonna have to scroll. All right, don't worry about these taking up too much space or too little because we can adjust them very quickly. So this is Thursday and then this is Friday. What I'm gonna do is just highlight these days of the week and I'm gonna pull them up until I get to the bottom of my slide. So there we go. Now, once you've done that, you can hyperlink either the shape or the text to one of your slides. I would highly suggest uh, hyperlinking the shape, not the text. So I'm gonna click on the shape and I'm gonna press Control K to get to my hyperlink or you can click on the hyperlink tool here. And I'm going to click, uh, this could go to a web page or I want it to go to a slides in this presentation. I'm going to pick slide one. I'm going to hit apply. All right, for this guy, for Monday, that's going to go to slide two. And now I'm just in a rinse and repeat here. Oops. And uh, this shortcut control K is, I use it all the time. Uh, once you start doing things like this, you that's how you tend to learn uh, some of these different shortcuts. Now, the key is once you get this set up, I would create, I would call this whole entire presentation something like template. Uh, that way you can uh, just rinse and make copies of it. Now you'll see on this, this piece right here, I'm pressing control K and I'm trying to get down to Friday and I can't. All right, one thing you can do is just simply take this piece, pull it out and then hyperlink it there we go, and then throw it back into place. All right, now from here, you can just change the colors of these if you want to, or maybe on overview, I might change this one to be like a yellow color because that's the slide I'm on. But once you have these all done, just highlight them all, press Control C to copy, go to Monday, Control V to paste. And now I'm just clicking through all of these and I'm pasting and I'm pasting all right, and I'm pasting. So now if I'm on Friday and I wanna to go to Tuesday, I click here and now I can go to, oh, sorry, Monday, I can go back to Monday. If I'm on Monday and I wanna to go to Wednesday, I can go here, all right? Here's the other piece, this last piece. If you are sending this to parents, I always recommend sending the parents the published view, so file published to the web, hit publish. Uh, I like this published URL, it's nice and clean. Uh, it's easy for parents to navigate instead of this edit view. I'm gonna copy this URL and I'm gonna navigate there. Um, you're gonna see what happens is that those pieces are gone because they're outside of the slide. What you wanna do instead is you wanna take these guys and bump them in, okay? And then you gotta adjust your text box. Uh, but by doing that, uh, now you'd have to do that on all the slides. Now parents can easily navigate to a different day, all right, from that original overview. All right, best of luck guys.